hello hi all welcome back so in the previous video we have uh, updated to the latest 7.9 kernel version 1160.49 and also we have installed the lia packages so let's have a look at notepad so we have completed all three these steps so OST snapshot install lia packages and also as i said the latest 7.9 kernel so these are the lia packages which we have installed previously i mean is i mean in in the previous video so on this part 2 video we need to download the uh, lia data file and also we need to run the utility okay so uh let's see so uh, we have another uh, different server with this particular liap uh, data file which is already downloaded so we can do an scp from this server to the other server so it will transfer the file so we can just transfer this file to the slash home directory i mean to the slash home as the admin so for that uh, we need to capture the ip address to do a scp so scp slash home as admin now it'll ask the password let me enter the password okay so the data is had been 100 percent transferred let's go back to the slash home as admin of the source or uh, so, uh, destination server yeah so now we have the liap data 15 tag dot gz file so so now we need to untar this file and uh, we need to get some json files so let us go to the microsoft documentation so here is the command so we are just untaring the file and uh, we are moving those output files to a, a location slash etc liap files so this is just a folder which is created after the installation of liap let's see the existence of that particular directory so the directory is exists so we can see it's just an empty directory so after executing this particular command it will extract some files and push all those files to this location So just uh, type in tar hyphen xvf the file name hyphen c and the location slash etc lf files okay so here it is also saying to remove that data file but we are not removing it it's not necessary let us add another uh, one more options hyphen set okay yeah so now you can see the web OS option so these are the files which are uh, extracted from the uh, zip files so let us go to the location slash etc layer files so let's do a ls hyphen ll yeah so these are those files so now we need to run start running the utility so first one with an uh, answer option so we are requesting the Lee app to generate answers while we are running the react Lee app utility which will generate the answer files on a particular uh, log location slash var log so let us run this file i'm sorry let us run this command So now we are going to run the upgrade start upgrade with the option liap upgrade hyphen hyphen no rhsm so hyphen hyphen no rhsm it stands for uh, this for the byoa so this is our uh, which a machine is uh, pay as you go so we are just saying hyphen hyphen no rhsm so this is going to take some time this app utility is going to run an upgrade command and initially the system will go for some initial scanning 
and if it satisfies the prerequisites the system will go for upgrade otherwise it will end up with an error and those errors we can capture it from that particular log location okay so let's uh, run this command yeah let's wait it's going to say take some time so I'll just uh, pause this video for a while all right it started running so you can see it's uh, scanning a lot of areas inside the server and uh, it will make sure it satisfies all the prerequisites if it is not we'll get an error message saying the installation failed and we'll be able to find out the log location i mean the logs from the log location okay let's wait for it yeah it seems uh, it's going to finish the scanning so uh, i'm expecting two particular errors uh, one is regarding the sshd conf and the next one should be uh, one of the kernel uh, driver module should be detected so we may need to remove that yeah the scan result completed so here you can see it is failed and from the message it's saying upgrade has been inhibited due to the following problems the first problem detected loaded kernel drivers as i said there is rj late upgrade cannot proceed so we need to remove that kernel drivers the second one possible problems with remote login user root account so these are the two remediations we need to apply so we can go to the log location slash where log li app li app hyphen report dot text so let us uh, go to the duplicate session and let's do a less and the log location slash where log yeah so here we can see the error so it's detected a particular a kernel driver which is how i highlighted so it's asking us to disable this particular driver in order to proceed further so let's copy the driver name let's check a ls mode command whether to check whether the uh, this particular module is loaded in the kernel or not let us mode pipe grab the uh, module name yeah so this command shows this particular module is loaded so we need to remove it through the mode probe command so there is an option mode probe hyphen r r for remove the module so this will remove the module so let's check again the status yeah so the particular kernel has been removed from the kernel so let's go back to the logs the next error is problem with remote login so here and here we need to modify the sshd conf file and we need to enable the permit root login so let's open the vi editor slash uh, the, uh, the conf files etc ssh sshd conf let's go to the insert mode and remove the hash symbol i mean the uncommanded it we need to uncomment it just remove the hash symbol and just uh, save the file so whenever we are uh, changing these files we need to restart the sshd conf sshd services but here it is not really required we can directly uh, go with the li app execution so we have done everything whatever the uh, two errors which i have shown here we have eradicated it let's run that command again okay so li app upgrade hyphen hyphen no rhsm again it will run the same uh, set of uh, commands to scan the system okay so this is going to take for a while so i'll just uh, pause the installation is still going on yeah so the installation completed so here oh, we can see the transaction uh, status it success completed and uh, it added a new boot entry
and now the system is demanding a reboot system is uh, it's required a reboot to continue and uh, we have the output files which is located on slash where locally app so let us uh, go for a reboot so we'll go to and uh, we'll reboot the server so i'm trying to open the serial console so here is the serial console so we will log in as a root i think i have okay so i'm able to log in as root and let me reboot the server so uh during this time the server will go for a multiple reboots because we have uh, upgraded i mean the lia packages upgraded downloaded and installed a few arch l8 packages so it depends on the package it will uh, do some changes in the kernel and it will remove some old dependencies so there will be multiple reboots so i'm going to I'm going to give a pause on this video and i'll be back once the server is comes up yeah it's just mounting all the file systems yes so now we have uh, received the login prompt so let us restart the putty session and we can check the current kernel version All right, so we are able to log into the server. Let us clear the screen. So let's give the command you name FNR. Yeah, so here we can see we have the latest 8.4, RGL 8.4 kernel version. 4.10 is the RGL 8 major version and 305.25 the minor version uh, .4. Let's check the, just for verification, we can just open the OS release uh, config file. So here we can see it's 8.4 opto and uh, the red hat release you can see here also. All right, so uh, so our uh, red hat uh, inland in place upgrade uh, from 7.9 to 8.4 is completed successfully. So this is just a pretty simple, uh, you know, uh, task. So we have this. Uh, uh, detailed documentation from Microsoft. We just need to follow this. I'll just share. Thank you. If you like the content please like subscribe and enable the bell button and kindly provide your valuable feedbacks and comments thank you